Hey guys, what's up? It's been a minute since we had a chance to talk. I've been stupid busy, so I apologize for the lack of content. We've been we've been just super slammed with stuff, and so as a result, I haven't had much of a chance to do any videos. In fact, as I'm making this one, my phone's going off. So I don't know what's what's going on. We'll uh, we'll check it real quick. Um, all right, nothing major. Um, Anyway, but that's a perfect example of the second I sit down to do something uh, for myself or for the YouTube channel, uh, I wind up getting <laughs> I wind up getting pulled in six different directions. Life is super crazy right now. It is for everybody, and I'm not making excuses for not having videos out. But there's a bunch of changes that are going to come down the line here pretty quick. Um, Tony and I are going to change like where we're living and kind of the the. I mean, we're not splitting up or anything. Um, we're just we're looking at our leases up at our apartment. So we're looking at doing a couple of different things. Possibly on the table is either finding another house uh, closer into the city, closer towards the beach, um, and maybe splitting it with, uh, with some friends. Um, or the other alternative, which I personally is my favorite, is we're gonna buy a motorhome uh, and I'm gonna find some hangar space or like an industrial shop somewhere that I can like steal some room or rent some room from or something. Uh, and then we can move the cutlass to that location and then I can do that stuff. Furthermore, um, I'm hopeful, let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm hopeful that I'm gonna have a bunch more content for you guys because uh, also in the changes is I'm going back to doing work uh, on the side. Um, what you guys see me right now is I'm sitting in the company van. I'm wearing, this is who I work for. Uh, John Curry is my boss. Yeah, the John Curry. Um, and uh, so today uh, we're going to go do some deliveries. Um, so I'm going to do some more. I don't know if you guys are into it or not. Do you know what? Tell me in the comments below if you're into it. Like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. But but most of what I want you to do is just tell me, you know, I was thinking of doing, there's a lot of videos on YouTube of guys, like they just walk through their daily life. Like they're just doing stuff like, you know, truck drivers are, you know, recording, going on trips. And there's, I saw that there are guys that are putting GoPros in front of their car and just going for a drive down like a country road for an hour and a half and putting music to it. And people are watching it. Like there's one camera in the cabin and one out on the fender or something. So a lot of this new media stuff that I preached early on, cause I kind of felt like I was one of the guys that was pushing everybody to do that shit. I had a big change in my life. My marital status changed. A whole bunch of shit happened for me personally. I took my eye off the ball when I come back. Y'all are doing the shit that I was doing. I had a video camera. I fucking kid you not. I got the remote turn. I had a video camera that used to sit on my shoulder. And I would do the exact videos that are on YouTube now where it's like POV. And the dude's pointing all the time like, oh, here's this, here's that, here's that. I would watch those videos because I had a non-linear video editing deck in those days. Uh, I've just been consumed with making videos and films like forever. Um, but I would watch those. I would shoot those in the shop and I would watch those later and be like, there's no fucking way anybody's going to watch this shit. <laughs> Fuck. Well, here's for tiny, not knowing which way the market was going to go. Um, I was just talking with an industry friend of mine last night. We had about an hour long phone call and that's the thing too. It's like, I know so many guys, I go so many places. I go to all these different shows. I go to all these events. Um, so tell me in the comments below what you guys think. I'm going to shoot a little video today of what I'm doing. See if you guys are into it. Um, this is all by way of saying, Hey, you know, until I kind of get the personal situation squared away with like, where are we going to live? And you know, how are we going to do this? Then the Cutlass is, I don't want to say it's on hold because it's not. Um, I actually found a motor for it. So there's there's a whole bunch of developments on that too that I got to tell you guys. Shit is happening so fast I can't keep track of it. So I kind of feel like it, this is a point in my life where either I jump all the way in and do all the videos or I just get the fuck out of it. Don't do any of it like I was. Uh, and just, you know, go on about my business and, and, and not try and give you guys any content or anything. So not thinking that my content is all that or anything like that, but I don't know. I mean, the Cutlass Project, the reason why I came on YouTube with it was because I just, regardless of whether anybody watches that shit or not, I just want to document the build and the fact that I found my high school car again and all that shit. Uh, and it's a bitching car. It's a colonnade car. It's a fucking A-body. Um, one of the things that you guys don't know is that, yes, we do do Jeeps. This is 
rock jock. Um, but uh, we have another side of the house that we haven't developed yet. Um, and that's called the John Curry Performance Group. And so we're going to be doing a bunch of street stuff. And that's what I'm really here for. I'm doing the Jeep stuff now because it gets my foot in the door. But basically what I'm really after is the street side. That's where I want to go. So all that having been said, um, I think I'll take you guys along with me today. We are in the van. I am going to be doing a delivery to uh, Four Wheel Parts today. So we got a bunch of our product that we're taking. Um, I guess I'll take you guys along for the ride. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so uh, this is the outside of the van, and we're just checking it for, uh, I'm just looking at it real quick before we get going, just to make sure it has, like, oil, shit like this isn't, see what I found? So we want to make sure that shit like that isn't happening. We're really just looking to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be before we take we got a really heavy load this morning. I think I'm almost 15,000 pounds this morning on the trailer. So just want to make sure we're all good. I'm going to check our fluids here in a second. Van dipsticks are longer than my Johnson, which is hard to imagine, but they are. Uh, but we're just going to do a visual inspection on all the hoses and the components, check our belts, um, and we'll go around and visually inspect our tires. You know, it's like a, when I was flying all the time, you know, you kind of do a, like a walk around and just make sure everything is where it's supposed to be before you get going. Like you want to make sure this pin is here. That's like really super important. Otherwise the whole fucking hitch comes out. So I'm shooting YouTube video, Nick. Don't be getting in the way. <laughs> Say hi, Nick. Hi. You're going to be on my YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm just doing a walk around on the van. What do we got, buddy? Tell us what we're doing this morning. Um, if I was a cannibal and I ate clowns, you think they're going to taste funny? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> See, this is what I work with every day. This guy. I love Nick. He's my man. All right. So we're going to hook the trailer. We're going to hook the trailer to the van. Uh, and then Nick's going to do a bunch of really cool forklifting. Are you going to fork me? Yeah, I'll load you up. I'll, I'll load you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Give me a hot I'll, load. I'll, I'll keep you loaded. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, let's get to hooking this bitch up. Wrapped up. Uh, we had to kind of reconfabulate shit a little bit because we had five, five huge pallets going, and so it kind of dictated us redoing the the load a little bit on the trailer. So, uh, but I like it. Looks good. Feel good about it. It's not squatting too much in the back for the van, so I think we got an appropriate amount of tongue weight on there. But yeah, I'm like 18,000 plus pounds on that trailer, so we're pretty heavy today. So. All right, I'm going to go in and make a cup of coffee. I got about an hour before I need to leave. So hopefully next video you see, we're on the road. All right, we're on the road. Uh, as you can tell by the string wheel in the shop. <laughs> um, California freeways, we're doing it. Uh, we're on the road. We're heading to Fort Worth Parks to drop off the stuff we loaded. Uh, we had a late start because there was a huge traffic backup trying to get on the 91, which for Corona is not that unusual, honestly. It's, uh, if anything happens anywhere on the 91, like as far west as fucking Long Beach, like Corona backs up. So, uh, it's, uh, it's just at a bottleneck. That 91 goes like right at Green River Road, goes around the mountain and it's just, it's such a bottleneck to get from kind of that's the last little bit of the Inland Empire before you get into like the beach cities and stuff so it's pretty crazy anyway we're on the freeway we're driving we're doing the thing living the life living the dream keep left to California 91 West 
We gotta hit the left lane, the computer says, but I think we're fine right here, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna sit tight. Anyway, we're driving. Next stop, four wheel parts for the drop off. Uh, and then I gotta go to Chino and pick something up. There's a really super safe motorcycle driver. Um, anyway, uh, so as soon as I get this dropped off in Compton, then we're heading back out to Chino to pick up some stuff. And then we'll get back to the office. So, next chapter, getting down to Compton to get this drop. Let's hope traffic doesn't take too long. unloaded. Uh, four wheel parts get us unloaded pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a while to get the guys in the uh, warehouse their attention. So, uh, but we got them all uh, unloaded and everything's looking really good. So we're going to head over to Chino now uh, and pick up a crate and then we'll get that all strapped down and then we'll get back to the, uh, go back to the office. So more traffic, more driving. Yay! through the back window there's nothing left on the trailer well there actually is but that's the stuff we picked up in Chino um, that's pretty much it for the day I'm gonna take it back to the yard and unload it and then I'm gonna get to work doing the regular media stuff that I do including probably editing this so <laughs> uh, that's it for this one guys I don't know if you like it or not let me know what your thoughts are this is just like you know kind of day in the life type stuff so I don't know how interesting this is or not but um, it's not this every day. I'm, you know, I'm actually the communications guy for the company, not the truck driver. But since we're a 60-year-old startup, we kind of do whatever needs doing whenever we need it. So, <laughs> so I'm cool with it. But anyway, guys, like I said before, let me know in the comments, you know, what you think of this, and, and uh, if you're down for this kind of format, I'll do more of it. So let's see what you guys think. Um, in the meantime. I'm going to drive this van back to the shop and go back to doing the work for the rest of the day. So, thanks for riding along, and uh, see what you guys think. Later.